student today we are going to study basic problem of economy but i am going to solve how to solve this problem in the socialist economy mixed economy my dear student there are three basic problem in economy the first problem is how what to produce my dear student what to produce means what type of the goods is going to produced by economy first you have to understand there are two types of goods consumer goods and factory goods consumer goods are those goods which is consumed by directly consumer and the factory goods are those goods which are going to employed in the industry okay so for example machinery is a factory goods and consumer good is example for food paste rubber or cooking oil etc so now the second problem is how to produce my dear student how to produce means what technology or what technique is going to be used there are two types of technique is going to be capital intensive and labor intensive what is the meaning of capital intensive so you have to see the capital intensive means more capital is going to be used and it means more machinery and fixed assets is going to be used what is the labor intensive labor intensive means what type it means more labor is going to be used compared to the capital for example i am going to explain when we are going to see the construction industries you have to observe more labor as going to use compared to the capital now for whom to produce my dear student whatever the goods and services produced in economy that is called national product and it's going to be converted into national income my dear student this national income is going to be dist distributed among in the form of various uh, income form for example wages rent interest so what is the wages and rent labor work for wages capital on interest and land on rents these are the main income distributed in the form of different types so national product is going to be converted into national income so let's see what is the socialist economy what happened in the mixed economy first you have to understand in socialist economy whatever the planning regarding how what to produce that should be decided by a planning authority okay this type of goods is going to be produced that should be uh, the uh, taken decision by the planning authority the planning authority in the socialist economy is who government state okay now how to produce the economy in this type of economy socialist economy the planning authority take decision you can see that maximum involvement of the labor you can see so for whom to produce that is the main basic problem in this type of the economy whatever the uh, G, uh, the gdp is going to be converted into national income for different category this socialist economy gives the importance to the labor land okay so this is the main fundamental way how to produce what to produce and for whom to produce in the socialist economy let's comes to the mixed economy mixed economy is controlled by both the government and the free market what is this the free market you can say that my dear student whatever the private entrepreneurs okay industries also gov governing in different types of economy if you can say simply that in economy when government control plus free market control okay so let's see in this type of economy the government is going to be decide as well as private entrepreneur is also going to decide this type of economy is called uh, mixed economy so what to produce the government as well as free market also going to be decided my dear student in you have to observe here how to produce naturally the, in the free market com competition you can say that the they are going to be used maximum capital intensive you can say that the private entrepreneur utilize maximum capital intensive techniques but the government try to utilize labor intensive techniques so how to produce is completed now for whom to produce is in this type of economy whatever the national product it is going to be converted into the national income the national income is going to be in the form of uh, wages rent interest etc in the form so they are going to decide by either free market or government or government so there are 
two examples I am giving when you are going to visit a public distribution system or fair zone in your market as well as you also observe mall. So what you can say that our economy is mixed economy because in our economy both PDS system as well as fair shop and also a mall Kirana shop they can give a maximum. So you cannot say that our economy is fully based on socialist pattern because they it is fully based on mixed economy. So when you see the mixed economy whatever the decision is going to take by the government regarding fiscal policy, monetary policy, CRR, SLR and whatever the monetary policy is going to be taken by the government with the help of the RBI. So my dear student, I am going to conclude here. You just remember that these are the three problems faced by all economy. That is why it is called central problem of economy. Uh, there are two patterns which we are following. First, socialist pattern and second is capitalist pattern. When both patterns follow, you can say that mixed economy. Thank you, my student.